Well, let's talk about rights. Let's talk about freedom of speech. Freedom of speech, like any right, like any constitutional right, is not an absolute right. So you have a right to freedom of speech. I have a right to my good name and reputation. And so there's a conflict or a trade-off from time to time about your right to express yourself and say what you like with my right to my good name and vice versa. You obviously have a right to a good name as well and I have a right to freedom of speech. Bottom line is no right is absolute. Freedom of speech is not absolute and even when it comes to the protection of your good name there is certain defences there provided in legislation, for example, fair comment or in the public interest and so forth that might give rise to comments that may be certainly bordering on defamatory, but there is defences. And then, of course, people can make statements in certain circumstances where they enjoy privilege, either qualified privilege or absolute privilege, for example, in the doll. But the bottom line is, Freedom of speech, like any other right, like any other constitutional right, is not absolute. And therefore, if you come along to a Facebook page that I might create or a YouTube channel that I might create, and if you are disrespectful or racist or sexist or insulting or misogynistic, then I reserve the right to ban you. And that's what I will do without any hesitation. And the reason for that, as I say, is you have a right to freedom of speech, but other people have a right to the good name, and I have a right to carry on my Facebook page or my YouTube channel or any other forum in any way that I choose. And if you want to express dissatisfaction with that, if you want to express misogynistic or sexist or racist views, Fire away and make your own YouTube channel. Fire away and make your own Facebook page. But don't expect to do it on mine and not to, for there to be repercussions. So that's what's going to happen if you are disrespectful. Have no difficulty whatsoever with somebody expressing an opinion that's different from mine. That's fine. But you, you can express an opinion that's different from mine, a completely different point of view. And I certainly won't delete it and I won't throw you off the YouTube channel or Facebook page or any other place. But if you are disrespectful or if you are repeatedly taking the mick, then I do reserve the right to say to you, fire away and build your own Facebook page or your own YouTube channel. Now, but the bottom line is, if you are respectful and respectful of what I'm doing, and respectful of other people's views and other people's nationalities and other people's sexual orientation, then there's no difficulty expressing a view that's contrary to mine. But if you are racist or misogynistic or repeatedly vexatious to the point where you're just a distraction, then freedom of speech your right to freedom of speech will be curtailed because, as I said at the outset, freedom of speech is not an absolute right. You don't get to say or do what you want. None of us do. And all of our rights, whether they arise from the Constitution or whether they're human rights or any other provenance or source for them, they're not absolute. They do come into contact with other people's rights. And that's how we order our society. And if you don't like it, on my Facebook page or on my YouTube channel or any other place that I am in control of, then you can expect to get banned. So that's just an idea, just a thought. Anyway, if you find the video useful or thought provoking or half interesting, give it a thumbs up down below and have a good evening.